No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. And My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, how's it going? I'm Micah with No Film School. We're here with L. Dean at Sony. He's going to show us the badass looking new Sony A9 and this new lens. Yep. What's going on, L. Dean? Oh, very good to see you guys again here at NAB. It's an exciting show. So, yeah, so what's going on? The A9, that's going on right now. Uh, announced, as you know, just last week yep. uh, on Wednesday. Um, as you can see, the form factor and the size looks very, very similar to the A7 series. It's a little bit heavier, as you felt a little bit earlier. Yeah. A little bit, a little chunkier, but not by much at all. So it's really amazing. It has the backside illuminated sensor, the same as what we get on like a A7R Mark II. Yeah. So extremely good in low light performance, but it's got integrated memory. And that integrated memory helps for uh, processing, in fact, 20 times faster than the processing on the A7 series cameras. Wow. So the A9 is a very, very fast processing camera, and that's for multiple different things which I'd get into in terms of how that processing helps this camera out. So being the world's first full-frame stack CMOS sensor delivers a lot of different things for us. So it's 24 megapixels, it can shoot in still mode 20 frames a second in JPEG and RAW and it's over 300 shots in JPEG mode. Um, RAW mode is, is upwards of 200 plus images and uh, being able to shoot with no blackout and with AF and AE tracking, continuous AF and AE tracking. No other camera in the world can actually do that right now. At 20 frames per second? At 20 frames a second. Actually, not even at 16 frames a second. You know, other right. cameras will lock uh, auto exposure. This one doesn't lock auto exposure. It'll actually track exposure. Nice. Now, the beautiful thing about it is this new OLED viewfinder is twice the resolution uh, and clarity of what we had on the previous models. So being able to track with no blackout continuously. In addition to that, we've got a lot of other pro features on the camera. So we've got the two dials, one for drive mode, one for your... Uh, for your focus modes, there's two card slots. Um, a lot of people have been asking for two card slots. We now have two card slots in the camera. That's great. Uh, that that's something that's only on the A9? Only on the A9, yep. yep. Yeah, so the A7 series has one card slot, the A9 has two card slots. What this allows us to do is being able to shoot, you know, JPEG in one, RAW in the other one, JPEG and RAW in both, uh, video in one, stills on the other one. Uh, even split your video, you could do uh, XAVCS on one and uh, MPEG-4 proxy on the other one. Okay. So good for redundancy, also good for if you're going to be shooting dailies and you're going to be sending those yep. you know, video out. Uh, in addition to that, a battery which has 2.2 uh, times the capacity of the previous battery. So that really allows, you know, obviously still shooters to be shooting very high frame rates for long periods of time, as well as extending your video recording time, which is really good. So How long do those batteries usually you know, go for for a photographer versus for somebody shooting video? So it, it really depends on how you're shooting. I mean, it really it differs in terms of how many times you're playing back, whether you're using the LCD or the viewfinder. There are CEPA standards that we publish online, but to give you an indication, this goes from something like 300 still images to 600 still images if you're using the mechanical shutter. Okay. Now, last week in New York, we were shooting with uh, a lot of the press members, and we set up a mini Olympics with people doing, you know, track and field events. And using the electronic shutter at 20 frames a second, they were getting six, seven thousand images out of one charge. We also announced a, um, a vertical grip, so you can double your battery life on that, which is essentially then going to be four times what you had on the previous model, and a high capacity four battery charger. And this is the new Z battery, and that can be attached to the camera. It's got a quarter twenty mount on the top and the bottom, and then it uses a dongle to attach into the actual battery pack of the camera. So that'll charge four batteries faster. But you can use those four batteries to control the camera or to, to uh, run the camera too. So you can be out shooting for you know, days on end with those four batteries charged. Again, it has all the same features that you have on the A7R and say A7S, as well as five axis image stabilization, which is now up to five stops of uh, uh, latitude versus the 3.5 on the previous models. But being that stack sensor, and as I mentioned in the beginning, you have 20 times faster processing speed. That now allows you to shoot full pixel readout with no pixel binning on the entire width of the full frame sensor. Now we had that on the A65, uh, sorry, the A6500, but that's a crop APS-C sensor or Super 35 sensor. This is now on the full width of a full frame sensor. It does the same thing as the A6500. It actually captures a 6K image over samples it and saves it as a 4K file. So you're getting extremely high quality 4K on the camera. There's no uh, color profiles or, or uh, picture profiles, so there is no S-Log on this camera. 
That's okay. the only thing that it doesn't include that the other ones do include. It's 100% silent. So you can shoot with this camera with a mechanical shutter, or you can shoot it with an electronic shutter, and in electronic shutter mode, you can have a simulated shutter sound, and that just gives you confidence that you've actually taken the photo. Right. But you can turn that off completely and be 100% silent. That's great. So you can have the Pavlovian shutter sound if you need it. But uh, if you, do. you can go completely <laughs> exactly. silent if you want to. Completely silent. So think That's about an it. awesome feature. Yeah, situations where you weren't actually being able to shoot in the past, you know, maybe shooting the Masters at golf where you can only shoot after the swing, or you know, shooting in a church, for instance, where you actually want to be silent, shooting in the White House. There's so many different types uh, times where you actually a silent shutter is actually more beneficial than using a, a, a mechanical or an audio tone on the shutter. All right, so what's the price point and availability on the Sony A9? Okay, so $4,500 uh, for the body, and uh, we're looking at shipping at the end of May, so probably market first uh, of uh, June. All right, so this is our Super Telephoto zoom lens. This is the 100 to 400 G Master lens. Um, and unlike a lot of the previous uh, telephoto zoom lenses, this one actually focuses extremely fast. This is due to a dual focusing motor system. So it has a dual drive focusing motor system to operate the front elements of the uh, uh, focus uh, lenses. And then it has what we call a DDSSM, which is a direct drive supersonic wave motor that drives the heavy elements uh, in the middle of the lens to acquire fast and accurate focus. Now, one of the things I didn't mention on the uh, A9, but that is really uh, important when you match it up with fast lenses, is it has 693 phase detection AF points across 93% of the sensor. So that's the world's most uh, AF uh, points across a, a sensor, um, especially when you talk about phase detection. Think about shooting a video of uh, a track uh, person running towards you at high speed, and they might not always be in the center of the frame. They could go all the way to the edge of the frame. This will actually track focus throughout the entire range. So it's a close focusing lens as well. So it has a great range of 100 to 400, focuses extremely fast as I mentioned. It has all the features that you would expect on a, a Super Telephoto as well as you know, AF, MF switch, uh, focus range, uh, optical image stabilization, you have an on and off for that as well. Uh, this also includes a kind of a unique clutch system over here where you can set the tension for your zoom from a easy to a little bit more tighter zoom depending on the situation that you're going to be shooting in. Um, this is now the fifth G Master lens in the lineup. As you know, in the, in the past year alone, we launched the uh, 85-14, the 24-70-28, the 7200-28, the 100-F28 uh, or T5-6 uh, uh, SDF lens and now this is the fifth one that's come in as the 100 to 400 super telephoto. So not only do we have a growing system of E-mount lenses or E-mount full frame lenses but we actually have a growing system of the acclaimed G-Master lenses.